Hello everyone. In this series of videos, we are going to conduct a life cycle assessment of a bicycle. The bike is assembled from different parts and then packed and transported. Then it is used for at least 15 years after that it is disposed off and we will model its end of life. There will be four different frames of the bike and we are going to compare the environmental impacts of these four bikes. The frames are made from aluminium, titanium, carbon fiber, and steel. The functional unit in this case is 100,000 kilometers over a lifetime of 15 years. After 15 years, the bike will be disassembled, some parts will end up in municipal solid waste, and some will be reused. Let's compare the environmental impacts of the four frames. Here we can see that aluminium and steel have the lowest environmental impacts as compared to carbon fiber and titanium. Same trend is followed for damage assessment. Let's see the tree diagram of bike made from aluminium frame. Here we can see that 30% impact is coming from group set and about 29% is coming from wheels. Aluminium is highest contributor in wheels. Let's check the single score. Now, let's go back and compare the assembly of four bicycles from four different frames. Aluminium and steel bicycles have the minimum impacts as compared to others. Now, let's see the tree diagram of the complete life cycle assessment of the bicycle, including the end of life. Here we can see that 58% of the impact is coming just from the transport of the bicycle from the manufacturing site to the use site. About 39% impact is coming from the manufacturing of the bicycle. Reuse of bicycle parts reduces about 16% of impacts as shown by green lines.
Now, let's compare the complete life cycle assessment of the four bikes. Bike with aluminium frame has the lowest environmental impacts as compared to the other three bikes. In the next video, we are going to create this model from scratch. Subscribe for more videos.